Hey YouTube, Tim Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get syntax highlighting in Nano. First though, if you haven't subscribed, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as I do a lot of videos on installing software and coding and some mathematics videos. So if you enjoy that, please subscribe. And thank you to those who already have. All right, so let's get to it. So I've got my terminal open here, and what I need to do is um, go up and find where nano is. So I'm going to just type which nano, and I see that nano is in uh, the root directory in the user local bin uh, area. So that gives me a hint, but I'm going to go up to the uh, user directory in the root directory and then I'm going to type ls and list out the files and I'm going to cd into local okay list out the files again uh, cd into share then list out the files and I see that I have a directory called nano and that's the one I want so I'm going to cd into nano and I'm going to list out the files and I notice that I've got a bunch of different languages here. So for instance, I've got HTML, I've got Lua, um, I've got Python over here, Rust, uh, XML, Perl, PHP, um, CSS, so on and so forth. Uh, C, you know, a bunch of different languages. So what I want to do is I want to get the syntax highlighting and these are, are the files that have the syntax highlighting and I can take these files and copy the stuff inside put it into my nano RC on my user um, my user level nano RC and I'll show you how to do that in a minute and then if I really want to I can change the colors myself and make the syntax highlighting uh, completely my own so you can build a custom theme in nano okay uh, so to do that um, Let's see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first clear the screen. So I'll just type clear here. I'm going to list out the files again. And what I want to do is list out uh, in the terminal the um, uh, HTML file. Let's start with HTML, okay? So what I'm going to do is just type cat and then html.nanorc, okay? And that's going to list out the file for me. And so what I can do now is copy this up to the comment here. And to copy in the terminal, I do control shift C versus control C, which is the normal way of copying. And what I'm going to do now is type in nano and then uh, the little ampersand that goes back to my user directory dot nano RC. And you see, notice my nano RC is blank. And I'm going to do control shift V to paste that stuff back in. And I might go up to the top here and just make a point that uh, uh, this is uh, syntax highlighting. Okay. So um, let's just make a comment here. Uh, syntax highlighting begin or something like that. Okay. And, you know, I might have my regular part of my nano RC up here where uh, let's say I set tab size uh, equal to two and set something like tabs to spaces and you know so on and so on with my, my nano uh, RC. So I'm gonna hit control S to save that and uh, control X to get out of nano. And I'm gonna CD back to my uh, user directory. So CD uh, the little curly, it's like a approximately symbol if you think in, in math, uh, and then a forward slash. Okay, so now I'm back there. Let's clear this out. Okay, and um, let's do an HTML file. So I'm going to just say nano test.html. Okay, uh, so now what I'm going to do is let's declare a doc type. Okay, and you notice that I'm starting to get some syntax highlighting here. Okay, and you know, I might have the head of the document here and close the head and um, then have the body and close the body 
and let's go up here and uh, I don't know, make some, uh, this is a comment, okay? And uh, you notice it's a little bit different, the, the comment's a little bit different, okay? Um, so we are getting a little bit of syntax highlighting. Let's do, I don't know, an H1 tag, you know. Um, so we're getting a little bit, of, uh, and then we'll close out the H1 tag, and then let's do, I don't know, an image tag, and we'll have a source equals uh, some file dot uh, JPEG, and you know, and, and we see we're getting some syntax highlighting with this, okay? Uh, and it's kind of following my theme, whatever theme you have. So my terminal theme that I'm using right now is kind of based off Darkula. Um, let me actually, uh, yeah, let's save the modified buffer and take a look at the colors and then let's go out of here. And what, what I'm going to do is now to go to my profiles and let's switch to a different profile. Let's switch to Zenburn, which is a little bit different, a different level font and go back in and you'll see it's a little bit different looking, but kind of the same. Let's switch out again and let's go to the default. Okay, so the default is more of a solarized one. And let's go back in. And now you see that, yeah, it's more following off of the um, uh, solarized theme. Okay, and it's saying there's some mistakes in my nano RC. I might have typed something. Uh, Let's, let's take a look at that, nano.nanorc. I might have ty typed some uh, mistakes with uh, this stuff. So let me just let's go and I think I probably messed that up. I think it's set tab size. Let's see if we have that mistake now. Now we still have that mistake. Okay, let's delete that out and save it and exit. And okay, so the... Those were some issues, but not the syntax highlight. Okay, so we've got that syntax highlighting. Cool. Um, now let's let's go out of here. We'll we'll get out of Nano, but then let's open a test.css, and I'll show you the difference. Okay. So we are we are in our test.css, and we have our body, and maybe we want the body's max width to be I don't know 600 pixels, and then we want the margin to be zero auto. Okay, and you know, close out the body, and we notice we got no syntax highlighting now. Okay, but we want some. All right, so I'm going to control save and control X out of here. And what I'm going to do is go back. So I'm going to go cd dot 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 slash user, uh, and then I think it was local, but you know, you can go there and you can look. Oh, okay, I got to now go into the share. So I'm going to go into the share, and then look. Okay, nano. I go into nano. Oops, CD, and you know it'll let you know if you make a mistake. It's no big deal. Uh, so we CD into Nano, list out the files. Okay, list out the files with LS. Okay, and now I want to look at my CSS.NanoRC. So I'm going to clear this up and just do cat CSS.NanoRC. That's going to list out the contents of the file. This one's a little bit shorter, but I'm going to take this. Let's just take my mouse. Um, a lot of terminals now you can copy with the mouse um, and just control shift C. Okay. And there's other ways you can bring parts of files into nano. So you can do it that way as well, but I'm going to do it the easy way. If you're using like a terminal like Terminator. You can just copy with the mouse terminal. The one that comes to Google Chrome, you can copy with the mouse. So that's even easier. Anyway, so I've control shift, control shift C copied that. So I'm going to CD back into the, uh, user directory, the base user directory. And now I'm going to uh, open my nano RC. So nano dot nano RC. Okay. And let's, let's get rid of, well, let's leave some room. So, and I play with my nano RC later that I have some stuff and I'm just going to do control shift V and paste the CSS stuff in. Um, okay. And you know, you may want to, you know, if you want to find these files a little bit easier, maybe make, oh, okay, this is, uh, this is where my CSS begins. And, you know, you can put stuff, uh, you know, this is where my HTML begins. You can make it more visible. Maybe you want to do a, a comment and then some equal signs across. 
But anyways, so any stuff after the comment, it's going to ignore. So, uh, so now I'm going to exit out of there, control X to get out of there. And I want to open my test.css. So let's open that. And I open it up and go, oh, okay, I've got syntax highlighting. But you know, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, hmm, I really, that red is kind of like overly bright. Okay. You may like it. Maybe just keep it. But that red is overly bright. I want to change the color on that. So I'm going to control X out of that. And I'm going to go back into my Nano RC. And now I've got, I know I'm going to go through my HTML. And now I'm into my CSS. And it says, first, make everything red. Hmm. Now, nah. I'm going to say, first, let's make everything cyan. Okay. And I'm going to go here. And now just delete bright red and type in cyan and then control S to save, control X. And I'm going to go back into my test.css. And you notice it changed from red to now a cyan color. So there are some colors that you can modify and you can make it your own and you can change. Cool. All right. So I'm going to control X out of there and I'm going to uh, create a file nano test.scss. So we're dealing with SAS files, syntastic, syntis, syntastically awesome style sheets, all right? Uh, so if you use SAS, um, you know that a lot of the file extensions end in .scss, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to type the body and, you know, uh, max width, 600 pixels, margin, zero auto and close out the body and control us to save. And I go, you know what? There's no syntax highlighting. So what's going on? Well, this is a .scss file. So we're going to get out of here and let's, let's see if we can find one of those. Uh, so I'm going to go up to user slash local slash share and look here and yeah, we want to CD into nano. Okay. Let's stop the files and I'm looking and we have CSS and go over here. Uh, we have sh sql. Mm, doesn't look like we have an scss. Let's check in the extra. Maybe we do. Okay. Uh, uh, we've got Fortran, Debian, Gentoo, Haskell. Nope. Okay. All right. That's okay. All right. I'm going to cd back to my home directory. And what I'm going to do now is go back into my nano. So nano.nano.rc. Okay, and I'm going to go down and um, let's see. So right here, uh, I think I need to do Alt-6 or maybe Control-6. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we're going to highlight this stuff and then uh, let's just do a Control-K, Control-U and... So we've copied it now. Okay. And I'm going to do here, I'm just going to do syntax highlighting, if I can spell, highlighting for SCSS files. And let's do my little equal sign things. And we're going to paste it back in again with control U. Okay, cool. And, but we still got these files dot uh, CSS. Well, I'm just going to put dot scss and see if that works control s control x get out of here uh, let's go to nano uh, test.scss oh look at that we got we got syntax highlighting for dot scss and uh with you know sas files it's you're basically writing css so why not keep the syntax highlighting the same Anyways, that's how you get and modify syntax highlighting in your nano terminal text editor. If you like this video, remember, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And if you've already done that, thank you. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.